scratches and cracks on a solar panel from extreme heat stress. Technician Emmanuel Rezak is responsible for the photovoltaic system at a lodge in Tamale, northern Ghana. Here, the air temperature can rise about 40 degrees Celsius and the solar panels often heat up to 70 degrees in the sun. The extreme heat eventually causes a significant drop in their performance. When it was new, it was generating more power. But now that it has, it has been cracked and then it has used for some time, the power is no more sufficient enough like first. Ghana wants solar energy to make up 10% of its electricity supply by 2030. But heat stress can cut the panel's output by up to a quarter and cause them to fail earlier. Further south, in Ghana's second largest city, Kumasi, solar energy researchers are looking for a remedy at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. Electrical engineer Saeed Abdul Ghaniu is researching ways to combat the loss of performance caused by heat stress by using a newer type of solar panel that is still largely unknown in Africa. A photovoltaic thermal collector or PVT collector generates electricity like conventional solar panel, but at the same time it transfers excess heat into a system of water-filled tubes, thus cooling the model. And this heat is passed onto the water and the water can be collected from the other side. So as the water flows through it, it absorbs the heat from the panel, cooling the cells and giving it a better efficiency compared to the PV system. Put simply, PVT system perform better for longer. We use the simulation software to simulate the output of this over five, 25 years. And during that period, we realized that the degradation rate over the 25 years of the PVT was, was predicted to be around 12.3% uh, as against 15% for the um, solar PV, which means that this is likely to degrade slower than um, the, the PV system. It may not sound like a big difference, but it adds up over the expected 20-year lifetime of a solar model. In a hot climate like Ghana's, which is getting hotter every year due to climate change, the long-term effects can be striking. PVT collectors can cost about twice as much as a conventional solar panel, but they make better use of the sun's energy because they produce more electricity and hot water at the same time, making them suitable for places that need a lot of hot water, for example in industry, hospitals and hotels. Like this 82-room hotel in Tamale, which still gets its energy from the national grid, the hotel manager believes switching to PVT could significantly reduce energy cost. If we take off hot water and all those stuff, um, our bills would have been considerably low. Uh, to quantify it, uh, I would say at least 40% of our bills would have been down. PVT collectors could offer a promising alternative that could help Ghana to meet its ambitious solar targets, especially as people become more aware of the particular problems of heat stress for solar panels.